Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our flawless run where I'm trying to beat Legendary Iron Man difficulty with as many flawless missions as possible and in a perfect world zero death, zero failed missions, just the usual thing to do. Uh, we're going to continue with Operation Sinking Shroud. Uh, where I am going for Intel. You can see the alternatives uh, were Supply and uh, a couple of Losts. And here uh, a Specialist, Corporal Specialist wouldn't be too bad. But I really want to go for Intel because we want to expand as much as possible. I want to play aggressively and uh, really conquer most of uh, the world quite fast. In order to do that we need Intel and uh, that also offsets a little bit our scanning at the skirmisher faction for faster building. In the meantime we go in with the prime team uh, plus I decided to take the skirmisher because they have also an upgraded weapon so that way we have three times upgraded weapons, three times basic weapons, also built two um, mine shields uh, which for now are going to be a nice addition specifically once we get armor upgrades but uh, still to come in the future let's go and uh, do a mission all right we landed let's take a look Oops. good seven rounds that should be fine as per the usual we want to lead with our reaper Good. Ghost is moving in. Oh, oh! Super heavy turrets. That'll take some time to go through, uh, to get through them. All right, Enders moves up. Roro. Let's move towards the turrets because uh, we could relative with relative ease kill them if we're just grenading them. Well, this is going to be an interesting first encounter. Let's start with these guys here. Placing the, weapon. the explosion of the purifier should be enough to solo kill the entire pack. Very nice. <laughs> Get another pack. Okay. All right. Not good. Not good at all. Listen, we got death from above, so I would like to get some high ground uh, going. I think what we're going to do here... Okay, so one of the things that we could do is effectively get these guys down. How about getting a stun lancer? Bam! Eat some dead eye. Yeah, like always. Good, we're moving over here, that should not trigger anything. And let's start giving him a hard time. Oh my gosh, that was a really hard time. No, 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 we're going to do it a bit different. This guy might trigger something up here. We don't want that. 
Uh, what I would want is, oh no, we can only take that one. Okay, cool. Well, Haywire Protocol, um, if push comes to shove, we can take another pack. Nice. They don't immediately know that we're here. That will not immediately trigger. But it will trigger next turn. Okay, we could move up here. And then we're going to here and are concealing ourselves. Matter of fact, we're starting to conceal ourselves first. Good. For next turn, that is perfect. Uh, overwatching. And let's reconceal here. And I would really, really like to get some high ground going. Is that a ladder? There's a ladder here. And there is some high ground here. Hmm, hmm, hmm. All right, Roger. let's try to go there and get on top of that cart. Time to hit the Viper. Viper dodges. Interesting. Okay. Moving to position. Let's try to hit uh, the turret up there. Come on, can't be that difficult, can it? There we go. Fire in the hole. Good, turret down. Purifier down. We're going to shift more teamwork action over here. Trying to shred the mech. Oh, that was unsuccessful. Moves up. Hit the mech and hit them very well. Got revealed, which is okay. Oh, come on, really? Keep going. 
More teamwork. Let's kill the mech. That gives us untouchable. And implacable. Which means we're moving out of line of sight of the Viper. Reconcealing with our specialist. Moving up. And moving closer with the Reaper. Overwatch, so that the Viper hopefully goes for the turret. No, it runs away, which means there's another pack, and that other pack is potentially further down here. Does not work. But we do have another round of hacking, so we should be okay for now. Almost, almost at the target. Could go into conceal and move over here. Inappropriate Murphy, unfortunately misses. Overwatch. Okay, we do have a bit of a plan B if this one here fails, but I think that's actually not a bad one. Could be a kill. Yes, it is. Good, run and gun, reload. And... We don't want to get any closer, that's fine. Heading to that location. Move to here, reload, and let's pick up the loot. Expanded magazine, not bad. Can use that for the bow tap. Um. High ground with a skirmisher. And we're facing reinforcements. Good couple of overwatch shots. One down. Great. No, 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 don't pull them. Their clumsy patrol is moving. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. 97%. Good to go. Order is confirmed. Moving out. Good. Let's start. Basically with uh, shooting as much as we can. Okay, I will use the frag grenade in order to kill the turret. Moving to position. In the meantime, we're taking some high ground. Using weapon proximity, let's get this guy down. Good, we're still staying non revealed. Good. End of turn. Fantastic. So... Let's use the Reaper first. As you order, Commander. And we're just going to reload for now. Double time. This will allow us to hack. Inappropriate Murphy sort of needs to take a high ground. On it. I will go. Another reload. Okay. Another reload. Um, and. We're moving up there. Okay. Cool. Pretty sure the the next pack will pull itself very, very soon. You know what? Let's get some alloys. Great. Good, last pack is over there. Moving over to get a good look on the, uh, onto them. That's not triggering. That's not triggering either. Almost 
uh, there. And Ender's... Uh, if I position myself here, they could return far, which I don't want them to do. So naturally, Easy. we're just going to take that position. Overwatch. Overwatch. And they will trigger themselves. Fabulous. Wasn't that a great Overwatch trap? One thing that Advan uh, that XCOM always is, is consistent. Um, consistently missing shots since the beginning of the game. Nice hit. And there's the kill. Move over here, hit the stun lancer, nice little execute. Lightning hands, good hit, into pistol shot, and that's pretty much it. Cool, 16 enemies, uh, that is a handful. Certainly one of the tougher missions. Lovely, lightning reflexes are great. And this here is good for Mimic Beacons. So inappropriate Murphy. Two expanded magazines, that's good. Work, Commander. Your efforts continue to bolster the resistance movement across the globe. The bond between these soldiers continues to grow. They can gain additional tactical strengths if they continue their training together. Alright, sure. Let's go for it. Bond level 2, always appreciated. Advent power is great as well, that's a good one. Uh, might as well actually take that because it's a permanent bonus. We got enough intel to expand, so it's just a matter of getting enough um, research done. Word from the medical team is they'll all be fine. This is where the Templar faction maintains their headquarters. I'll admit they can be a bit extreme when it comes to psionics, but so far they seem loyal to our cause. Okay. And scan at this location to gain additional support from their people. My people understand. I greet you as an ally facing a shared enemy. My followers seek balance. Good. Um. Recruit scientists wouldn't be bad. Reduce avatar project wouldn't be bad either. The Templar actually comes at a squatty state. Uh, let's double check something. We got three abilities, three extra abilities, and we're at a squatty state, so we're going to dismiss. You might uh, think, why would you do that, Saiken? Well, next month, which isn't uh, too far away, 11 days, uh, we will likely get a new 
um, resistance uh, mission, resistance ring mission to get a new Templar, and they will come in at least a corporal, if not higher stage. So we're not losing anything. Plus, we kind of re-roll the amount of um, abilities. Three is very average, and they were potentially towards the latter part. So maybe we can get four or five. Um, we do have Reduce Avatar Project, uh, which really is something that we could use. And I am thinking about improving uh, some of the higher level uh, soldiers here. For instance, 8515 uh, five. could get a promotion, uh, getting to captain. Uh, that will give threat assessment, good breakpoint. Um, we could equally uh, use inappropriate Murphy and uh, actually give him another promotion. Snipers in an end game scenario are very strong, so that wouldn't be too bad. And currently, our our snipers are also not upgraded, so this actually um, will help us. I'm not uh, scared about the ambush, nor am I scared about uh, the wounded soldier. Matter of fact, you give, get a normal rifle and give us back that, please. Yeah, okay. Both of you are fine. So that'll give us more time uh, so that I don't need to raid the black side facility. And we're actually doing well. Soon I need to start hunting the chosen which will happen like I said soon and one last option here how about we're getting another ranger and we're good Okay, that is unfortunate, but not really a problem. We can get it back. Let's see what the sabotage is doing. So experimental weapons would be fine. I like that. Uh, resistance radio is potentially what we need to do, but let's resume research here. Getting hybrid materials fast, then resistance radio, then um, armor upgrade. The results of our breakthrough were quite fascinating. I agree. That is an important task, Commander. Good. In terms of our next mission, uh, let's see whom we want to uh, take uh, with us, of course. Uh, Reaper is tired for one day. Hmm, that's unfortunate. So we're going to use the next uh, best uh, thing, which is a uh, ranger with phantom. Um, doing that here. Our sharpshooter is still wounded. We're definitely going to go for uh, the skirmisher and maybe we're going in without a sharpshooter and instead take another ranger it's a bit of a ranger f uh, slugfest here but uh, i think we can work with it i'm wondering should we maybe take another grenadier because uh, this looks a bit too heavy on the ranger side uh, roro is Fine, we could. Hmm. You know what? Let's get Roro. He needs experience as well. Might as well take him up. Wilson, I'm sorry, but Roro gets the better gun. Good. In terms of weapon upgrades, one for the ballpup. 
making it a little bit less problematic. These are already upgraded. Um, could build another mine shield, which is not a bad idea. Let's do that. And since they are going to be lost, this doesn't look like a normal uh, mission. This very much looks like extract advent supplies. So we don't need as many um, as many uh, heavies. I'll still take both of them. That's fine. We don't need as many grenades because more grenades tr um, trigger more losses. All right, fantastic. Let's go into the mission. Okay, let's uh, land and Advent get this done. The process of airlifting a number of supply crates out of this area, and we have an opportunity here to take a few for ourselves. Locate and mark the crates with transponders, and Firebrand will handle the rest. Got it. Moving. All right, so we're not in a hurry, uh, which means we don't need to rush too far. But I also want, don't want to take this, uh, let this mission take too long. Uh, so, as an as general train of thought, uh, with these missions, with these smash and grab missions, um, okay. as long as we're concealed, everything is actually fine, and the timer won't start. The moment that we lose concealment, uh, that also means we are on a timer. Got a couple of upgraded weapons already and uh, six uh, people, so I'm not too afraid. This here would be a perfect remote start kill. <laughs> that would be so good. I regret not having the Reaper. I don't I want to get closer to the actual crates don't want to hastily rush into this there is no need to engage immediately Is these guys here are continuing to move which is okay no problemo they might get up here in which case we do have a small problemo and they sort of left one of uh, their own uh, back there Good, rock solid position over here, I like that. We can immediately go get the crates. Um, Let's do this. Full cover. Rolling out. And Good to go. we're just getting a tighter position. Good. Naturally, the enemies are now starting to move back, which is completely normal as well. Confirmed. Uh, that was a misclick. There we go. Moving up. I go as ordered. Moving to position. Let's do 
this. Um, yeah, just positioning ourselves for the next few rounds already. End of turn. They might run into us, uh, then we're triggering and then it's on. Yep, that is exactly what happened. Good. Bit of a reverse overwatch trap. Moves to here. Teaches the Viper a very, very valuable lesson. Roro moves up. All right, lots of stuff happening left and right whilst I'm playing. Um, so we got a grenade. This guy has three hit points, so that would be a um, fallback solution. We could also go this and uh, shoot, but I don't want to compromise our position too much, as in we want to push in the other direction so I also hope that we take this 50-50 as always hope does uh, get you only so far in XCOM oftentimes the answer is hope doesn't get you anywhere You know what? I want to keep the grenade effort. Not the end of the world, but we lost an important cooldown. Good, reloading. You're not marking the crates until the enemy marks them, because uh, if you have marked them, the enemy can no longer mark them, and that will just mark crates further down. These mutons seem a little more agile Ooh, than the that would be a great explosion. Past. It looks like they're still serving as the aliens' front line, though. Picking up a steady signal from the transponder. Firebrand is en route to make the pickup. Good, let's uh, trigger this pack. Position confirmed. Might be a big explosion. Let's hope it is as big as the remote start. It is not, but we killed one of them fully at least. Closing on target position now. These should be explosive, so technically this guy should suffer a double explosion. But I was technically wrong. Fantastic. 
we do have in place uh, implacable but not untouchable yet I don't know why I even thought that we would have had untouchable moves over that's a decent chance of actually hitting him I got nothing. A useful agent. repositioning move and let's get the stun lance out of there yeah shut up I want to keep our concealment so hopefully this is a kill Very good Keeping concealment. Eh, this will break concealment, but I wanted that extra crate. Advent just airlifted out their first crate. We're gonna have to move fast if we wanna get the rest. Firebrand is on deck for recovery. Keep marking those crates, Menace 1 5. All right, we're doing exactly that. Keep marking those crates. Currently, we want to get into full cover, into a nice little firing line. We do not have a reconcealment and I don't want to push too far because there might be a pack here. Reload, reload, overwatch, reload, and we're reloading. Classical case of take your time to reload, very important. There we go, this time it worked. I'm not marking the supply crates immediately. Moves into full cover here, and we continue to slowly but surely advance. That's affirmative. Me here I come. Hit it there now. Um, yeah, just move up, and we got a fire line going. There's the next pack. Nicely runs into our overwatch. Ooh, okay. They seem to not have moved at all. Interesting decision. Well, we're going to remove your cover and shred you. Not sure if this is the last pack. Gotta be careful here. Some nice little extra damage. 
and As you command. Skirmisher moves up. Might be able to finish that mech. Nope. Not happening. The EDM moves up. Same thing. Well done, well done, well done. I think we lost one crate, so that's 11 out of 12 crates. to sergeant rank that is great got a superior stock which is good look at the amount of supplies alien alloys and elarium that was really really good plus an admin data pad on top of it that was a massive win now we're not going to take supplies we are going to take that fantastic Avenger. we're going to take the scientist because that will speed up research we're not behind it's fine we're just at the right uh, curve Good. This one is indeed important because we want to expand and we want to expand fast. I'll play that off screen. Well, those missions are a bit boring. Okay, fabulous. So, we got some extra loot down there and we got a promotion for inappropriate Murphy. Now, we wanted to start hunting, right? Hunt the Chosen either way is fine. Sorry. Okay, so hmm, the Reapers do have better uh, resistance orders, so we're just going to start here. And um, I think we're going to. Hmm, let's think about that. 10 days, we could go get it down to 9 days. See, one of the things that we could do, uh, that gets plus one health, is we could do a little bit of that and that. Uh, due to their bond level two, they put it down one notch. And we're just going to put a true rebel in this mission as well and then that's a good uh, good first covert action mission sharpshooter promoting uh, inappropriate murphy death from above fantastic but since we have the training center let's also immediately train quick draw for him Salvo is not so needed. And this is called Fire Axis, aka Fire Axis. Good. More explosives, return fire. Uh, the return fire would suck, so uh, we need to counter that. Fire axis, fire axis. That is fun. Those little, uh, mm, those little Easter eggs. You're finding them even after uh, years of playing the game. 
to move fast. Commander, we want to set back the aliens' work on the Avatar project. Good. Five more days and then we can build the radio. But before that happens, I told you one of the next missions will be a scientist mission, 90 Intel on top of it. Game will uh, wants us to to actually uh, get a another scientist to continue our research, which is good. We're a little bit behind. Uh, the advantage though is we're getting a scientist here and since the game didn't realize that we already scanned for a scientist it spawned that mission so we're actually going to get from behind uh, to being um, ahead of the curve uh, which is going to be great not having the reaper will uh, hurt a little bit but the mission uh, is absolutely fine and just pushing 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 uh, faster uh, to get uh, to the uh, chosen is well worth it in the meantime i think our roster looks fine what i haven't seen is we already have a covert operation underway oh, commander never mind recruit templar is there that should be the next mission right afterwards good so that's the end of today's episode thank you for watching guys and see you in the next episode take care bye bye